MicroSemi. And today I'd like to introduce a new MicroSemi product from our Switch Deck family called PAX, or PAX. This is our PCIe Advanced Fabric Switch. So currently, in the storage industry, we're kind of making a move towards PCIe and NVMe drives. So for this industry to succeed, we're going to have to be able to compete against SAS. So a few things we'll need to do. Um, one of them will be, uh, we'll have to be able to connect um, the same endpoint to multiple hosts, as well as being able to accelerate uh, the adoption of resource disaggregation. Um, so most of these things have been addressed by our PAX device, and I'll go into them in more detail. So our first concern um, is addressed by our PAX by using IO virtualization uh, to be able to connect multiple hosts to the same SRV capable endpoint. So this will allow you to take a really expensive, high-performing endpoint and connect it to multiple hosts, uh, which will save you money. To address the second concern of resource disaggregation, our PAX device allows you to connect multiple switches um, to create a fabric. This fabric will allow you to take any endpoint in the fabric and connect it to any host in the fabric. So this can also be done dynamically. So while the system is running, you'll be able to take any of these endpoints and move them around to any host that you need to. So this is very useful in situations where, let's say you have a big rack full of drives and you have multiple hosts connected here. So you can save money by just moving around these drives dynamically uh, to the different hosts whenever they need it. So this allows you to save money and you can still use the full potential of your system. So our demo today um, will demonstrate the SRV um, IO virtualization uh, functionality as well as the fab fabric fun functionality. So to, to talk about this in more detail, I will go through a block diagram, uh, just kind of taking you through the different steps as well as go through in more detail the live system. Our setup is composed of two hosts, each connected to a switch. These switches are connected with an interconnect and each host is connected to an NVMe drive. There is also an SRV capable endpoint connected to one of the switches. In our demo, we will show IOs running from both hosts to the same SRV endpoint. While this is happening, we will be unbinding and binding the NVMe endpoints to the opposite hosts. Now let's take a look at what this looks like in a live demo. So this is what a live system looks like. These are two switches and a slot adapter in the middle. The switch on the left is switch 1. This switch is connected to a super micro server which is host 1. The slot connector of switch 1 is connected to an Intel NVMe drive. Switch 1 is also connected to the SRIV capable endpoint. This is connected to a Western Digital drive. In Windows, this will just look like a Western Digital drive to both hosts. The two switches are connected together with a BIO4 connection using this mini SAS HD connector. The switch on the right is switch 2. Our Micro Semi Flash Deck and VRAM card is connected to slot 2 of the switch. Switch 2 is also connected to a similar Super Micro server, which is host 2. So this is what hardware looks like. Let's take a look at what the host is seeing. Alright, so here are the remote windows. Uh, looking into our different hosts. So the remote window on the left here is looking into host 1. As you can see, there's an Intel N, uh, NVMe drive uh, that's connected to here, uh, as well as a Western Digital drive. So the Western Digital drive is our drive that's connected to our SRIV capable endpoint, and you'll be able to see the same Western Digital drive over here on host 2 uh, connected to that same SRIV capable endpoint. Um, this is also connected to our Micro Semi Flash Deck and VRAM card here. Um, and so we're just going to run some traffic to these Western Digital Drives right now. So this is going to be running through the same SRV capable endpoint. And you can see it's running with no errors. Uh, so our next plan here is to take 
this Intel NVMe drive and swap it with our flash stick and VRAM card over here. So to do this, I connected chip link to switch one using a UART connection. This will be our fabric manager. Right now I'm just running firmware commands through switch one to see the whole fabric. So here's an example of what kind of information you'll be able to, to see uh, using the fabric manager. So here's switch zero, which is our first switch. It'll tell you how many uh, root complex are connected to it as well as endpoints and how many functions there are. So here's our SRIV capable endpoint. You can see there's one physical function as well as four virtual functions. So these virtual functions are what you'd be binding to all your different hosts. Uh, there's also the Intel SSD, uh, which shows it has one physical function. You can also see information on the root complexes connected, as well as any other switches in your fabric. So here's our second switch, switch 1. Uh, it has the same information on the count of uh, hosts and endpoints. Uh, but this switch only has one endpoint connected, which is our NVRAM card. You'll also be able to view a binding table, which just shows you uh, which endpoints are connected to which, whichever hosts you, you bound them to. So I have a script that will allow me to bind and unbind the different drives and bind them to the opposite hosts. So let's run the script and you'll be able to see them get unbound here in Windows as well as them being bound back uh, in, into Windows. So you can see now the NVRAM card is connected to our host 1 and the Intel card is connected to host 2 and our traffic is running fine to our SRIV capable endpoint and there's no errors. So something else we can try right now uh, if we stop the traffic we can go ahead and find the new device we have connected. So we have our NVRAM card as well as our SRV capable endpoint. Let's run traffic to both. And we'll do the same for host 2. So our Intel drive and SRV capable endpoint. So now we're running traffic to both endpoints. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing and swap the drives. So there, there's going to be some errors that we'll see here, but that's just because the endpoints are getting uh, unbound. So let's run a script. We can see the endpoints getting unbound again. We have some errors because the endpoints disappeared. But as you can see, Windows is totally fine. It's able to see um, the new endpoint here, and the NV, NVRAM card is back in host 2. So then you just be able to rediscover your new your new endpoint and you can go ahead and run traffic again. And you can see there's no more errors. So our switch is what's handling all the errors that are coming in as well as the completions that you need to do. I hope this video was informative. Uh, adopting this approach will remove the complexity of having non-transparent bridging, which will allow you to have faster time-to-market fabric solutions, as well as allowing multi-host I.O. sharing to SRV-capable endpoints. Microsemi has a comprehensive portfolio of PCA solutions, and for more information, please visit microsemi.com. Thanks for watching.